Yeah, and it may start. It's been doing this, but uh, it sets a little while it'll run. And if it makes me one more run, I'm gonna won't have to use that cane to get home. So, have you lived on this farm all your life? Born in that house right there. 94 years ago. I started in 1935. I planted, fall of 35, I planted a little wheat. My uh, great granddad bought this in 1883 from the coal company. And that over there, that was his house over there with that red saddle. Was. And he owned this too, and my dad bought it from him in 1921. You know, all the things in Lafayette, like Wanaka Lake and all that stuff, was that named after your family? I, I had nothing to do with it. My great-grandfather built the lake. Okay. And for all my young life, that was a plant lake. We knew, we knew it was built by him and the family knew all about it, but it didn't carry the name. A lot of people are asking if they named it after me, but I guess they did about 65 years after that. City Guard Control of it, I guess they named it the Wanaka Lake, and now it's, it's Wanaka Lake. Come in, you cut it, and then I sell it. Okay. They don't have anything to do with me. They take it to Denver. Denver's about the only place you can dump wheat, uh, sell wheat down, unless you go clear to rock and, and uh, so we go to Denver. All the smaller elevators in the country are closed down. But, this is it's quite enough for this, it's a 40 footer, that's the biggest one we've ever had. But it does a good job. Maybe it's, at 94, you know, you know them about tomorrow. <laughs> But, uh, I regret it.